there is a standard that is called Matter, and Matter is a sta an industry standard that ran it runs across multiple smart home vendors. So the setup and interoperability uh, improved, and actually a standard setup for smart home devices, along uh, with interoperability. So. Uh, you could buy an Apple device that uh, interoperates uh, with an Amazon uh, device. Uh, and, you know, let's say you're trying to set up an entire smart home. You don't have to worry about just buying devices from 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 one vendor. This took years uh, put uh, uh, to put uh, together. And uh, our uh, our IoT analyst, Bill Curtis, who was uh, the vice president of IoT strategy at Arm, uh, for a while, uh, when he was at Arm, actually was helping to put this standard uh, together, and it took years to finally get this out the door. And at CES, uh, Amazon uh, came out with their new developer kit that supports Matter, so it will be able to have interoperability with other Matter-based uh, devices. And I think this is a real breakthrough. Some people look at this as, well, if you have a powerful position in in the smart home, why would you lean into interoperability? Dan, it would, it would kind of, you know, I talk about the magic a API that AWS will never bring out to have interoperability with Azure uh, and Google Cloud. But Matter is this magic. It, it's not technically an API. Uh, it's a, a set of processes and a technical specification that have lower latency. Uh, but But imagine... If you're on your TV and you have a Samsung-based TV that supports Matter, uh, hypothetically, you could be able to to control your entire smart home uh, in uh, on that Samsung TV or on your Apple Watch or your Apple phone. Uh, it also limits uh, the amount of applications that, uh, that 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 you might need. And Amazon, who is the uh, smart home leader. Uh, this is a a really uh, big deal. So check out the Forbes article that uh, that I wrote uh, along uh, with Jacob Freeman, and then also Bill's research paper uh, on on Matter. And again, he was the guy that helped uh, help the industry uh, put uh, uh, put that together. Pat, you matter, buddy. You are. Yeah, actually, uh, it's been really great to watch the growth of matter I, I had the chance to speak on stage at the big silicon labs event here and silicon labs is one of the companies that works behind the scenes with some of the leading companies including uh amazon on some of the technology and matter is the standard that's really going to drive faster connectivity the, the the idea of the smart home has been a dream but it's been a dumb one for a long time um everybody's gonna have a well, smart the, home. it's and it's not the idea that's dumb right it's the execution Sorry. The idea that everyone can have a smartphone has been a dream, but it's been a dumb one. You know, yeah. that like you dumb Zigbee stuff and just some of the garbage that's come oh, out. Dumb. Okay. Dumb, dumb, I dumb, you. dumb. Like, you know, you. hey, you know, we got 19 remotes still to this day. And what I really love is the idea is of what Amazon, Amazon's trying to do to democratize a smarter and more intelligent uh, experience in the, in the home. Um, and by the way, this can translate into the office, and I have a feeling some of it will. Uh, obviously, security will be important at some layer, but, you know, your TV is one of the things that I'm pretty sure in every house on the planet, um, every, you know, fluid household on the planet has at least like a smart TV at this point. I yeah. mean, geez, they're, it's like $100 now for like a 40-inch flat panel. And building some intelligence into these it comes down to, hey, you know, we have the Alexa, we've learned how to talk to our devices, we've learned how to interact with content. You know, in the future, we're gonna be able to walk into our home, even if it's a small apartment in Manhattan or a giant house in the mountains in, in, in Summit County or wherever it is, and you're gonna be able to say, hey, you know, Alexa or whatever your smart system is, you know, turn my lights on, close, the, close my drapes, uh, you know, uh, play me this song, order me this pizza, whatever it is. And, the idea of, of needing a, a, a Crestron control system and needing a Lutron lighting and, and shade system and needing a, a big camera muck system, that is basically what is going to be displaced in some way by Matter and by Amazon and what they're doing. Now, again, you're going to probably end up with 15 Alexas and they're going to end up with an incredible amount of data <laughs> to understand how you live your life. But I want to be very clear even about that. We've already 
uh, acquiesced our data. We've already given up the fact we would all trade largely um, our data for better experiences. And that's really what they're saying. You can walk in, play the music you want, show and display the artwork or pictures of your family, um, be able to set and, and connect in the future to more smart and intelligent home-like experiences. And that's what I really like about what Amazon is doing. And by the way, doing so at a price that is achievable in more and more households. And, and you know, you look at some of these 75 and 85, or 65, 75 inch fire TVs, Pat, they're sub $1,000. Now, again, that's not cheap, but these are large uh, fourth, 4K displays um, with really in great intelligence that can be used for content and for smart home connectivity. So good stuff, Amazon. Um, keep going. Yeah, yeah one, uh, uh, the cool part that I didn't bring up here is that you can standardize on one intelligent agent. So for instance, what this enables you to do, if you're, if you're a complete Amazon household, uh, if the Apple smart home devices would support Matter, you could use Amazon to control your Apple and vice versa, right? If you're if you're a Siri person on your smartphone, uh, which a lot most Americans are, uh, but you are an Amazon smart home, you can use Siri to control all your Amazon stuff, and, and it's going to be a lot a lot easier in the future. One of the downsides or thing that's not in Matter, it doesn't support it doesn't support cameras or security systems yet. And I think I understand, you know, some of the important nuances. That's an oxymoron there, um, uh, or a malpropism. Uh, sure. a, 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 it's not there yet, and cameras are the most confusing to me. I probably have thirty-six different cameras that uh, that I'm monitoring across uh, multiple uh, multiple sites. 